Out front now, Kathy Bernier, a Republican Wisconsin state senator who has been outspoken against the Republican back election investigation in her state. She is the chair of the Wisconsin State Senate Elections Committee and previously served as a county elections clerk for 13 years. You know all of this better than anyone, Kathy. And I just want to start off by asking you about 10 people from your state. 10 of them signed on to that fake slate of electors. And it's not just 10 random people picked from across your state. Uh, among those 10, the former chairman of Wisconsin's Republican Party and uh, a man who actually serves on Wisconsin's election commission uh, right now, today. How concerning is this? These are Republican leaders in your state signing a, a fake slate of electors. Yes, um, that's disheartening to say the least. Um, but those individuals um, who are chosen as electors, um, whether on the Democrat side or the Republican side, are usually stalwart uh, supporters. And they um, firmly believed at the time, I think, uh, that Donald Trump won the election. Uh, I think that was prior to all of the investigations that we've held. And um, this is news to me, actually, just recently. I mean, it, it, it does seem so, so shocking. Of course, um, you know, we should note the, 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 the margin of victory in Wisconsin 2020 was basically identical to the margin in 2016. Trump uh, won the first time and, and lost the second. So Republicans in your state are right. still conducting an investigation of the election. And I we've had some fa fantastic reports on this here, led by the former Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman. And this is now more than a year since the election. Why are they doing this now, do you think? Well, there were some unusual things that occurred um, with uh, individuals um, in Green Bay and the third party funding and um, some issues we had in nursing homes. So the fact of the matter is, is there were some issues that we had, but by the same token, after the Legislative Audit Bureau finished, after the Wisconsin Institute of Law and Liberty finished, I'm confident that the election results are factual and that any other anomalies or voter fraud cases that we've had, which I know there's a little over 500 or so that are being investigated, um, that's not unusual. And uh, we need to move forward because Republicans need to focus on 2022. We need to win the House. We need to win the Senate. Mm -hmm. And in the state here, mm -hmm. we need to win the governorship. And I should just make the point, um, as you point out, you know, things things do happen. They should be looked into. You've looked into them again and again. But I just want to contextualize your number there, Kathy, because you talk about 500 things not being unusual. I also want to reference that versus the margin of victory, which, of course, uh, was 20,000. 682. So it's not not relevant at all in terms of the margin. But but the former president appeared to reference your state's audit in the clip that I played of him a moment ago, you know, when he said, quote, they're finding things nobody thought possible. This was a corrupt election. What's your response to this? You have spent your career running fair elections, investigating every one of those 500 votes. And yet this is what he's saying now. I would love to sit down with uh, President Trump and explain the electoral process to him that I don't think he really understands. It all boils down to each and every ward in each and every community. And those are people, volunteers from the community that are running the polling places. So where the massive voter fraud is, is beyond me. And I just think he does not understand the electoral process and he has not bothered to learn about. Well, Kathy, I appreciate your time and thank you very much for coming on and talking to me.